You know what? I'm gonna have to start it. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons with Mio Xpu, and... I'm gonna have to apologize if there is any background noise after editing, because I'm in my basement, and the AC is on. that I have to I have to record while that's in the background. If you again if you can hear it, but I can't do anything about it because I gotta record. Now it's just a bud, but it'll be a huge flower in spring. If you climb on that flower, I can't wait. I think I already did that kid, but oh well. Actually there um we are moving on today to what is probably one of my favorite parts of this entire game, besides, of course, Subrosia itself. But... Oh wow, it's been a long time. I couldn't even remember what I had to use to get into the start menu. But... But... What was I gonna say? Uh, but we have to do a little backtracking, so I'm gonna meet you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm back, and this is the first place that I wanted to- Ow! Ow! Go to, which is- Ah, uh, there we go. Back where we kept, uh, planted our gaseous seed, and let's just open up the nut. It's inside. Yes, it is a ring! Okay. That is basically what I'm banking on for most of these. And as you can see, I turned the weather to winter because we're going down south to the other place where we planted the gaseous seed. And I'll meet you guys down there in just a second. And we're back to where we once belonged. No, um, we are back to the place where we planted the other gaseous seed. Now let's just take a look. And there was a ring! That is double plus good. And you know what? I was an idiot. Because that's one of the most useful things of Subrosia. We can just take shortcuts now. Like, I'll show you... Th Probably... Well, this is probably the easiest to get around in Holodrum, actually, because we're gonna be... Do I have enough Ember Seeds to get that yet? No, because I have six. Great. Um, anyway, we're gonna be backtracking all the time to Horon Village, so the easiest way to get back is to... Well, half the time is to just go through, um... Subrosia. So that's what we're gonna do right here! brings you fairly close. Fairly, I say, but we're actually going to be coming back up here in a second, because we need to go- Ah! Stop it! I've lost enough hearts already. From those freaking tech tights. Um. But yeah, we're going to be coming up this way anyway, because we have to... Anyway. We have to go north from here, so I don't believe we can get the switch yet. Which actually means I don't think we can do what I thought we were doing this episode, so... If we're not, apologize. I'm apologizing. When I say this episode, it'll probably be within a couple of episodes. Uh, quicksand ring, no sinking in quicksand. We'll buy it for the rupees. We... It's not that useful, but... The curse ring, half sword damage, damage taken... Times two. The most useless ring in the game. Great. But also one of the easiest to find. Along with the quicksand ring. Quicksand ring is at least sort of helpful later on in the game. But right now it is completely useless. Um, there's no reason for me to actually cut right here, so I can, guess I can fill you guys in on what's been happening with me. Uh, well, as you see, I've been recording Beyond Good and Evil in HD, so that's been pretty fun. What else has been happening? been getting ready to go see the Harry Potter movie, I guess, but not really. Mostly I've been catching up on the work that I should have been doing for Yukon at Yukon. Because we're such on low on health, I'm actually just gonna run to this very quick. And we actually get to see how it's used in this game. So I guess that's a positive note. Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. I'll meet you guys when I find out how we're supposed to go north. 
because I can't remember right now. Okay, so here I am, guys. I'm back, and this probably isn't the right way to do it, but I figured out a way to get where we need to go. And that's actually to use Moosh, which I know that I'm doing it absolutely wrong, that there's another way that I should be doing it. I'm 90% sure I should be doing it another way, but you know what? I don't care, because I was able to get over here, and that's what matters. Oh, what's this? Ah, get away from me! You were underneath, Moosh. I couldn't even see you. At least there's a fairy fountain down here. Like, I really have no idea where we're supposed to go right now. Thing is, I know what's next in the game but I don't know how to get there and what to do to get that part of the game going. Oh, well here we go, here's one useful part. Are you fucking me? Are, are you fucking me? That's all we had to do. We had to jump over that pit, which was at the very beginning of the level, and then hit this switch. Oh, and the AC turned off. Yay! But really, are you fucking me? That is all we had to do. If, if that's not reason to smack a bitch, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that I spent like 10 minutes just trying to figure out how to get to this part. Alright, now... Wait a minute. How did they expect us to get past here, then? Because... That makes no sense. Well, you know what? Oh, you know why? Probably because we'd have Ricky at this point, and if we had the other animal companion, who we would have at this point, we wouldn't have to worry about going this way, because... Well, because other things would happen. Oh, for crying out loud, Moosh. Half the time when I blow this freaking horn, he appears halfway across from where I need him. Oh yeah, if it's somewhere where you can't summon your animal com companion, or if you just summon them, I guess, sometimes it'll just say, Oh, the song fell flat. Which is really annoying, but just go to another area and you'll find out where you need to go to get him. Oh my god, I can't believe that's all we had to do. Alright, now we can actually move on. And... Fuh... I don't remember half of this stuff right here. Unless we actually did end up meeting Moosh if we took Ricky around here. Because right now, I can't remember half of this because I almost always... I almost always take Moosh. Oh god, this is annoying. And I'm running out of health. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because coming up is a part that I really like. So, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's take care of this before we do anything else. Who are you, Deku? Love, love the seed! What a great song! Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Here's a human I understand! Let me fill your satchel for you! Finally, we have enough. We have, like, 20 Ember Seeds. That is good news for me, because now we can go to Subrosia next time and get that big bomb bag. What is this? Get away from me, you freaking... I don't even know what you are. F fuh. Oh my... Fa, 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 fa. Put a gun to my head and pull the trigger. I just, I can't believe I just did that when I could have just come this way. Filling up my seat satchel is not worth that kind of headache. Well, you know what? Since we're in a headache-making mood, let's go out and find out what could be down here. It could be so worth, and nothing really, but. Maybe. I don't know, because I don't remember. Like you've heard me say five million times before. Wine, 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 complain, complain, complain. What are you? Now entering my... Oh, wait. Now entering my domain. Great modeling. 
This is the part that I love. But unfortunately, we can't go here yet. Well, what we can do, actually... I forgot about this. Because... Well, no, because I want to show you guys. I want to show you, you guys what happens in a little bit. But god damn it if that's not annoying that those bushes come back, so I have to come this way. And I still can't go that way. Yay! This is exciting, right? I'm almost dead. Great. Okay, if that killed me, I was going to freak out. I am so close to death, I do not know how I've not died yet. No, no, no! Okay, good. No, 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 no! Stay away from me! Oh, God. I am... Do not fall! Please, Moosh. Okay. Here we go. Yo! Yo, boy! This is the great Moblin's realm! If you wish to get away alive, pay my toll! Ha, ha, ha! We're not gonna deal with that right now. Because... Oh my fucking god, I can't believe I got past there with, what is that, half a heart? Oh, water, water everywhere! I must leave such a frightful place! Until next time! What do you have to say? The whole city's flooded, but since I can't swim, I'm just here blowing bubbles. You blow those bubbles, bitch. You blow them hard- no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna continue that train of thought. That's a horrible idea. My husband was a master diver, but now he's old and he's hidden his diving gear and gone off somewhere. Well, that's a lovely thought. He's just left you so that he doesn't have to tell anybody else his diving secrets. My pop's a master diver. He had a secret diving spot, but he never told me where it was. Stingy guy. How are we doing for time, actually? You know, I'm, I'm gonna end it here. You know, it's a new town. And... This part, actually, with the Great Moblin, is my favorite part, just because it's so different, because, you know, Moblins, they, they, they are, they're always working for Ganon, they never have their own thing, so it's kind of cool. Well, you know what, I've been doing this for so long that I'm just going to leave you guys here, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, while I dig up crap with me, Oixfu. Ooh, Red Ruby, that's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, nothing. Oh, <laughs> completely ruined the town, why don't I? But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.